Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the Wasteland, where last time we made a full frontal assault on the Super Duper Mart, which was defended by mutants, and picked up a Brotherhood of Steel member along the way. We also made contact with the Enclave on the way back. This is like a fascist paramilitary organization that has kind of taken over for the United States government. And on the way home, I happened to stumble into Area 51, which looks heavily defended, but you never know, they could be defending some really good technology there that would really help us out. Yep, that is the place right down there. I've been looking at it for so long, just thinking it was some kind of a weird warehouse, and no, that is Area 51. There's a good chance, too, that they've retrieved the UFO that we found kind of out that way, and, and maybe they've put it inside that shelter there, and so they, they might have gone inside the space shuttle and retrieved some new alien tech. I'm gonna figure it out someday. I don't know that we're quite ready for that. We just gotta do some more recruiting. That's like half the battle right now. So today I think we need to focus a little bit on resource collection. There are some new things that I would like to craft. Among them is the junk I bought. The other one is, uh, well, is some kind of a rifle. I can do the lever action rifle. What was it called, a service rifle? It, yes, not the service rifle, what the heck. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of guns to remember here. So it's the battle rifle. It's like a M1 Garand 308 style rifle. and We could craft a level three. Yeah, we need either the broken battle rifle there or a whole slew of steel and duct tape. I'll be working on steel and cement and mix and all that stuff throughout the day. What we really need to work on though is gunpowder so that we can make more slugs. So let's kind of jump down here. The guys can stay here today. Razor 21 and Ogie 787. Hold down the fort for me. I'm heading out to go get some coal and nitrate and iron. And since we're so good on money and I haven't stopped in to see Johnny, I'm gonna go say good morning to him over here. This is also where I dropped off Joel after his whole compound collapse, so hopefully he's found a new home over here with Johnny. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, I hope you're all getting settled in here pretty well together. Hopefully there's not too much friction. Wow, Johnny, you are very tall. I didn't realize you were such a monster. Well, what do you have for inventory stuff for me today? You know what? We were like one magazine away from getting the auto shotgun so and we have so much money right now and since i can't really find anyone to hire let's just start collecting books and magazines and see how far we can progress in those things oh the utensil rack i never even figured out oh just oh crafting quicker okay that would be great because some things are taking like eight minutes to craft contact grenade ammo you know what i should probably stay away from the explosives <laughs> especially around the horde base but you know what Contact grenades are great to have around just on your tool belt. So yeah, I guess I'll take that whole stack. Trap magazine, <gasps> a broken combat shotgun, which means that could be repaired into a, an actual combat shotgun. But, oh, I gotta take Love a look at that. Story. Okay, combat shotgun. It would only be level one. It would be really easy to make. I was just saying how I got nothing to spend my money on, so sure, it was expensive. It was like five grand and he'll take it back for 405. It, what a great deal there, Johnny, after everything I've done for you. Okay, that's Ooh, so pretty much good. And friend. Joel, I, I don't imagine your inventory is with you. Probably uh, left it back home there. With that, I think we're good to go here. All these guys are just kind of walking off. What is it? <laughs> it's a holiday? You're all going home or something? Get back to work. Okay, under the looming threat of the Enclave, we're gonna have to do some mining because my mines are like right over here. Here we go. There's another mine over here. What, what am I hiding here? Oh, iron, perfect. Okay, so we're, we're mining that and we're going down into the coal hole. <laughs> the coal, <laughs> how have I never said that before? That's fun. You know what? I have a rock buster at home and I totally forgot about it. We'll have to save that for another time, I think. Now that I'm here, I'm not going back home for it. Put it that way. I'd like to go home with probably two full stacks of coal one full stack of nitrate and uh, probably like four full stacks of iron. We'll see how far we can get. I don't want to be here like into the night doing this stuff, but we've got to do it sometime. And look at that. I think this connects with the iron that we found up above. So I'll just do it all in one hole. Fingers crossed we can find some diamonds while we're down here. Diamonds are required to make the laser rifles. Fortunately, I just checked they're not used to create the plasma rifles, which I think is kind of the next stage for us. Although this level six laser rifle, that's gonna carry us through forever. Gotta get some better mods for it, but I can't craft them right now. So we're just on the lookout for crafting recipes for them. I've even found lead down here. All we need is some nitrate and this is like a hole in one. Hole in one, how, how have I never thought of that? That's a good name for a mine that has everything in it, isn't it? Doesn't really matter if it is or it isn't, I'm using it anyway. 
Ah, uh, here we go. I've caused a massive collapse. Watch your head. Make sure you got your helmet on. I got my helmet on. Woo! Oh, jeez. Okay. Try not to get struck by anything. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that just about does it. We almost lost the motorcycle down the hole. Crap. Okay, let's just get up here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, good thing I put some alien suspension onto my motorcycle there, so it'll just hover there. Um, let's hopefully get something to prop this up with a little bit so we can at least drive out of here. Um, or at least just not fall any further into this hole. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> I feel a little bit more secure now. Let's see if I can just... Oh! Very close! We've got it! Wow, okay, so we've got to be a little bit more careful about that happening again in the future. Okay, I need to head home anyway. I'm gonna get the Rockbuster, pick up this airdrop here on the way through. And, um, also gonna get some food and drinks. I'm getting really hungry. Hello there! Hey, are you... Liam Kelly, are you a regular rad cat? I didn't expect to see you out here. I, yeah, I guess so. 25 star bottle caps. And hey, that's an air supply for the Vipers. So that might be something we have to contend for a little bit. Yeah, it's like right, right in their courtyard. All right, I'm going to chance it. Just kind of try to run up there as fast as possible. There might also be zombies. Oftentimes these do draw in zombies. Here we go. Fast and furious here. Shoot the zombies. Oh, I don't see any Vipers. They might be on vacation as well. Is this a holiday that I missed? Am I supposed to be giving my, my guys the day off today or what? Because <laughs> no one else seems to be working. All right, I grabbed the stuff that was in there. I don't think that was anything good. I think there was an M60 in there though. All right, let's just back out of here just in case that commotion kind of woke them all up <laughs> at four in the afternoon. Oh, it's, it's, it's getting close to happy hour. Maybe they're out having a drink together or something. M60 machine gun level one. Well, I could actually give that to, I think, anybody, really, and we could have an M60 person. There is a TAC Assault Rifle bundle. Ooh, with a good TAC Assault Rifle. There's also a book bundle with kind of the same old stuff. That's a G19 pistol that we unlocked. I think we're getting pretty close to an impact driver and pistol quality three. Bunch more magazines here. <laughs> Pipe machine gun quality four. Wow, I have to go craft one of those. Should be good on shotguns. We unlocked nuka grenades. All kinds of new stuff to look at here. Okay, and look at the new guns. We got the combat shotgun. We'll have to fix that up. You know, we got the M60 and the TAC AR, which would be great, I think, on Horde Night because I have a ton of 7.62. I was kind of, what was I going to craft? I was going to craft the, um, Oh, the battle rifle that we were looking at earlier, because that takes 7.62, it's 308 caliber, and I was going to use that to go through the 7.62, but if I've got the TAC AR, I'm using that instead. Alternatively, could give it to one of these guys. In fact, you know what? I don't think this sniper rifle does very much for us. Are you now different people? PWT and Sardalka rule are with us now. <laughs> Shift change, I guess. Okay, so let's go weapons menu. Should be rifle... Sniper rifle AK-47. Why AK-47? Do you... Did I... Do you have... Oh, you have the old AK-47. Oh, great. I forgot to empty out this guy's inventory. That's nice. What about you? Yeah, you just have the shotgun. Here. Oh, yeah. Take the... Take... Oh, I forgot how to do this. All right. Starting over. Put the M60 in there and then say weapons menu, rifle menu... M60. There we go. Okay, that's a pretty big upgrade. I don't really like the sniper rifle on these guys. I prefer some suppressing fire. Otherwise, I did get two diamonds, seven gold nuggets, and a couple of silver nuggets to go there. Um, that's not great. Okay, let's just get that combat shotgun crafted. I want to take a look at it. That only took like three seconds to make, too. Man, I can't even take a sip of coffee here. All right. Whoa. Whoa. That looks cool okay eight rounds to a mini drum it appears what can we do for well yeah what can we do for mods here three we can do three mods onto this and the damage compared to what i'm rolling with right now is well damage is the same but the fire rate is a lot higher it seems and even has better range okay so i wouldn't call it a no-brainer i guess because with the extra mod, the pump shotgun actually is doing some more damage. But yeah, I'll make the switch. Who cares? We're talking about you know, nickels and dimes here. Okay, it's not going to take the tube extender. Oh, it could take the drum mag, though. We'll try the extended mag and... Don't I have a drum mag? There it is. Yes, drum mag. 
duck bill and <laughs> not the mag extender in addition to that of course but uh, how about the cripple mod and this is officially the armory box until i can come up with a better solution for that right, i think i'm just gonna i'd like to put a gun safe in here but man it would just it would really <laughs> cramp our style here a lot kind of good that we got home anyway to take a little bit of a break get some concrete blocks crafted that way we'll have whoa 500 of those for construction tomorrow. Nice. Cement. Steel. Yeah, we're about to hit the stage where resources are really not a problem anymore. All right, a little bit of fluid to hydrate and should probably check on these. I'll check on those later. I think we're good to go back to the mine. I got the rock busters with me this time and hopefully the heat in this area has calmed down a little bit. In fact, I'm just gonna start over here around here somewhere is my nitrate mine. Yep, whoa, there it is right there. Okay, this time though, park reasonably far away. <laughs> Over here is fine. All right, I'm gonna harvest up a little bit. I'll probably hit this mine up here for some nitrate. Oh, there's also iron down here, that's perfect. So I'll get nitrate and iron. I'll just meet you back at the base uh, later on this evening. All right, that was a great mining trip. I know it took a long time, but it was well worth it. That'll save us time later on, having to go back and forth doing that. Just kind of get it all done in one go, right? That second trip was good for an additional, looks like a little over 10,000 iron. And I did get about a full stack of nitrate, which needs to immediately go in here for gunpowder so that we're not hard up for ammo. Because basically, I'm going to use all of this gunpowder. Oh, that's going to take like two days to craft. Two and a half days almost. Wow. Okay. Well, that'll be what we need to make slugs. Box of shotgun slugs. Go ahead and just craft me one of those with whatever I have. And yeah, I'm starting to feel the pinch here. We need some more crafting stations, but we don't have room for them. So we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to make room. We'll have to make do with what we have here. Jeez. So I'm playing around with the utensil rack right now as we just hit nightfall. A minute and 18 seconds with the utensil rack. A minute and 23 without. So I'm not sure that was worth, what did I pay for that? Like. Two grand? That was expensive. What about something that's really time consuming, like goulash? Goulash, 618 without and, oh, 358 with. Okay, so it has like a weird way that it's reducing time there. I guess it probably was worth it then. Fish tacos coming up and a chili dog behind that. So I switched out the scar for the TAC AR because we only have 193 556 rounds remaining and I know what I'm doing with my gunpowder and it's not making 556. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> no, the TAC AR takes 5.56. Five, you know, it makes sense, but I was expecting that to take um, 7.62 like it usually does. Okay, so, well, in that case, uh, which one's better? I think the, yeah, the the SCAR assault rifle is slightly better. Uh, I just, yeah, we're so short up for ammo on it. I feel like, you know, I'm just going to simplify things a little bit. Just going to roll with the shotgun and the laser rifle for a while. I've got I've got too many just things that I'm carrying with me all the time now. There we go. We've simplified it to six lock slots, and I guess we just will not have a full auto option. I think with the new shotgun, though, and, and with the, the focus splitter or the laser beam splitter, uh, we're, we're pretty much good, though, with the ones we have. All right, the last thing to craft, then, is the junk eye bot. What color do you guys want? Anyway, we got, like, brown, yellow. I like that yellow. I also like that purple there. I like the red. Ooh, the red. Yeah, that's calling my name. And quite honestly, it would match my power armor really well. So I'm rolling with that. All right, and it's just about midnight, which is definitely not the ideal time to be setting out on some kind of an adventure. But I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm gonna get out of this biome because I want to hopefully increase our chances of finding another companion. Uh, that reminds me, I should probably bring some extra money. And before I set out, I'm gonna spend my skill points. I think I have six of them, which is fine because it takes a lot of skill points to, to get any points these days. And I, I think I was gonna take New Age Cowboy because even though this is a laser rifle here, it's a it's an energy weapon and so it follows this tree here not the regular rifle tree that we have in perception the rifleman one so let's go with two more into this and that'll increase our chances of getting the energy weapon magazines which will increase our chances of hopefully someday getting the plasma rifle there's one right there plasma rifle should be pretty easy to make once we 
are able to make it. And that takes this ammo type right here, the plasma microfusion cells. And I've been collecting them because I'm hoping I can get one of those rifles and start using that ammo type over there. So where are we off to tonight? Can't really say that I know for sure. We could make another try for the treasure map at the top of that mountain, but no, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's crazy difficult to get to. And we've pretty much searched this whole area of town right here, uh, which leaves basically the east and the south as relatively unexplored territory. Well, it's close to morning anyway. Let's just push down south through the wasteland and maybe we'll head over toward the horny toad and just kind of see what we find along the way. Probably should stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Probably should stop into the garden here. I planted all these crops over here and never came back to check on them. So I'm just gonna fly in here real quick. Oh. Get rid of that guy. Yes, give me these because I think that's what's been holding us back on a lot of cooking is the fact that uh, I don't have any potatoes or anything. Who's that? Get out of here. Okay, good enough for that. We press on. Yeah, I kind of knew it was going to be a bad idea to set out here tonight because uh, now a storm came in and I can't see a thing out here. It's supposed to be like exploring and scavenging, but I can't even see what POI I'm next to. And finding a safe route through here, also not a guarantee. You know, now that I'm through here, I might... I might go check on, it's like that junkyard that was next to where the vipers are. Where am I in relation to that? It's kind of straight due north. Oh, geez, yes, uh, radiation. I did get my power armor suit repaired, but there are some small cracks for <laughs> radiated juice to seep through. Oh my God, that zombie there has a flashlight and a crowbar. Who, who, who is this over here? What's going on? What is this guy? He's got a weapon. It's Z-Bark. Get out of here with that fanciness right there. Look at that helmet light. That's pretty cool. Yes, a strong utility worker. Anything good? It's money. Okay, that is the plan. As we're just about to hit morning, I'm going to push through. I'm just going to hope the storm clears up, honestly. But I'm going to push to my marker up there or toward my marker because that's close to where the storm riders are. And I want to do some just preliminary scouting in that area. Right, here we go. So on your left, you got the jump. Oh yes, finally the storm's clearing. And also that's kind of my cover. I'm in the wide open spaces now. Right, I'm just gonna push forward on foot because I know there are people here that would wish to destroy my vehicle and I do not want to lose the motorcycle at this point. Figured what I could do. Yes, yeah, so we got storm riders here. We know roughly what's going on over here. You know what? I could probably catch that whole fence on fire and I've got explosives too with which to do that. Uh, I don't want to incur their wrath just yet. Lots of gunfire going on somewhere. Yes, we have soldiers on the rooftop. In fact, those guys look like enclave soldiers and I'm taking them out. There are also a lot of zombies here. They might be kind of at least slightly under attack after the night. Look at this whole mess of zombies that are flying over here. I'm not sure I like any of this. Okay, whoa. Oh, do you see the shadows kind of creeping up behind me there? All right, turn and shoot. We've got the laser splitter, which is definitely helping out a lot here. But we need to switch over to some close quarters weapons here. We got the new combat shotgun. Ooh, getting flanked pretty bad. Why are you all attacking me now? These guys were just in the compound fighting the storm riders or the, the, the enclave oh by the way they're they're chasing them out yep and reload oh this gun is pretty good actually isn't it it's working well good reload speed good knockdown power loving it oh man i am taking a huge beating though right now okay come on get out of here you stupid rat for some reason they are all focusing on me. You know, these Enclave guys, they look like they've been doing some nefarious things. Maybe they're working on these zombies here. Trying to control them or something. Jeez. Ooh, man, the club works well on these guys. Should have worn your helmet today. Right. Okay, that's the zombie threat neutralized. And apart from my abrasion, I think I'm doing pretty well here. Let's just patch that up. You wouldn't want that to get infected or anything. Cardboard box here, bowling ball. Not what I'm looking for. Looking to take out these snipers here. I think that did the trick. All right, let's get in here. So this is the uh, Storm Raiders over here, not Storm Riders. And this is Enclave over here. I don't know what the hell's going on. If the Enclave assaulted the Storm Raiders junkyard over here and they're kind of taken over or, uh, or they're aligned, I'm not sure. Well, 
let's get in here and see. Definitely not safe. Something blew up. Get out of here. Give me a second. I gotta do a quick perimeter check. Whoop. There we go. There's just a couple, couple more in the back there. Oh, this guy just healed up and I, I think I caught a, a couple of the healing points off of him. And more zombies are being attracted from outside. How about that thing right there? That's an airship. That is super cool. Yeah, they might be repairing that. And at some point that might be airworthy. I got no time for lock picks this morning. Let me in and yes, reload. Power armor radar does not, well it shows two enemies in fact, actually over here behind this door, which is locked. Here, let's just open that right up. And since you guys want to go melee, I'll oblige you in that. Give you a fair fight, even though it's 2v1. Aha, here we go. My first bit of loot back here. You know what? Lock picking these days? Really getting on my nerves. I'm just gonna go straight with the pickaxe. You know what it is? I just thought of it. Originally, I had taken some points into lock picking because that's how I was getting my workstation books, but then I respect out of lock picking, and now lock picking is hard, and I don't like it, so I'm not gonna do it anymore. Find more medical supplies and loot. I guess that's useful. That was the entire Lucky Looter series, and the benefit for that is that enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. I don't suppose that's gonna help me at all. All right, continuing to break through things here, and continuing to see pretty much unarmed enclave soldiers here. They must've been really hard up for weapons. Maybe that's what they were doing over here, trying to raid the Storm Raiders for some weapons. Unfortunately, they started off in the junkyard, which <laughs> I don't think there were going to be many weapons over here. There's a set of power armor over there, though, which I'll be happy to take a look at. Get out of here with that crap. You're not going to do anything to me with the hunting knives and machetes. But I have to hand it to you. You're taking the steel club like a champ. Oh, desert vulture, though? I don't know about that. Let's get back outside. Okay, what, what do we got here? Oh yes, this guy's chasing down a cop. Good idea, I'll help you out there. Let's see, higher chance to drop loot. Well, he had some money on him. Must have just got paid. <laughs> so did the cop, I guess. All right, here's what we're here for. Power armor stand. Oh, good pow uh, pair of power armor frame boots and some repair kits, which is nice. Is there anything that I should switch out though? Any big upgrades here? The boots seem to be a bit of an upgrade. I'm gonna switch those over and that would be it. Although these are different, a slightly different appearance for the chest. I'm currently rolling with the one with the red trim on it and I like that. Okay, am I to assume that there was nothing else here for loot? That seems to be the entire place. Whoop, there's a guy up there. Nice of you to drop in here, bud. There are a couple of good vehicles here, and by good vehicles, I mean really, really bad vehicles that could potentially give us some parts off of them, so I gotta take a moment here and see if I can get them. And after all that, nothing. All right, I'm, f woo. Look at all this activity out here. A bunch of zombies eating a wolf that they just killed. Okay, that's, that's good. I'm gonna go this way. It's actually just a lot of zombies here that need to be killed. Well, let's get to work. And with that, I think the area is finally pretty much clear. I've been kind of scooping up loot out of the bodies as I've been going along. And oh, geez. Yep. Storm Raider right there. He just saw me. Oh, crap. There's another one right here. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go in with a full assault. Yeah, definitely not. We're going to come back with some soldiers at some point. I will, however, give these guys something to work on for a couple of days in putting out that big fire. All right, home sweet home here. We got a lot of work to do. The resources have been crafting. They should be good to go by now. We need to finish this pit, finish this pit. And if there are resources left over, I'll start working on the concrete pad and get this all kind of, you know, looking better, feeling better around here. Okay, step one, we're gonna come back into the new pit over here. And I did bring the stairs down a little too deep. So I gotta take one stair rung off the bottom and then I'll fill in the rest with concrete and this one over here will be completely done after that. 
just gonna kind of splay out the staircase at the end here and should be good to go. Okay, pretty much same exact procedure over here on this side. Fix up the staircase. We got a lot more patchwork to do on this side because this is the one where all of the explosions occurred. And I did look at the block damage from the explosives that we were using, like the cryo grenade and nuke grenade, and it's all very low. So I think it was me setting off the demos in that case, probably, that did most of the damage. Anyway, lesson learned, less explosives in the pit on Horde Knight. Oh yes, that was a fantastic move. I've definitely done this wrong. This is a four wide staircase now, not a three wide. So I got to carve the whole layer off that I just put down here that was incorrectly placed. Great use of my time. I love doing this stuff. I was wondering why things weren't lining up properly. All right, well, I fixed it. That side is now done. Okay, I've done a whole bunch of fill work in that massive crater in kind of the middle of the base where some zombies had fallen down and broken a bunch of blocks, but I've got something like 30 odd remaining. I'll do the best I can to fill in every divot, but we're gonna have to wait for more resources before we can get the whole pad done. And last three, one, two, and three, and I think that's looking a lot better already. Okay, the pits are... Whoops, got a screamer here. Suppose while I'm at it, I do have a lot of cobblestone and just raw concrete. I might as well make good use of it and get some of this stuff upgraded. All right, well, that actually went a lot further than I thought it would. We are good to go, and geez, it feels like it's first thing in the morning, but it's like late in the evening now. Let's finally set down the, oh, the junk I bought. Hell, oh my God, it's so teeny tiny. Oh, that is the coolest thing ever. Okay, can I, it's a bit difficult to interact with, but uh, yep, couple extra rows of inventory space and uh, take, modify. Looks like it does have a couple of mod slots, but I don't think I can craft anything yet. And, oh, I've unlocked the armor plating mod, so, oh, sure, we can get that queued up and we'll set that up later. There we go, oh my God, it's so tiny. <laughs> I almost, w I almost wish it was a little bit bigger. Look at him, for once in his entire lifetime, he's not in my face. Oh, cool though. Very cool. Alien tech, man. Everything hovers here in the wasteland. Okay, so what are we going to work on now? Because that was... I, I thought that would take longer than it actually did. And we're looking really good now on the base construction front. And the resources are rolling in hand over fist. I think what I'd really like to do is focus on... Yeah, getting, getting allies really is like the one thing that I really want to do. And you know what? Another freaking fog storm is rolling in. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the wasteland. I am done breathing in toxic chemicals for one day. I'm leaving the boys here. I think I've brought some money with me. Hopefully I won't need more than I what I'm bringing. But yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to be in the snow biome either. Maybe I'll push all the way through into Rex town. Ali, Ali, let's go over to Rex. Let's go shopping at Rex, see if he has any good food for us, and we'll kind of take it from there. All right, here we are, Trader Rex. The place is unmistakable. Rex, you're bringing down the property value for the whole neighborhood here. Did Rex put his dog down? I don't see him today. I hope so. I think has bitten me many times. It's a lawsuit waiting Damn to happen, man. Money. All right, what are we dealing with here? Any good magazines? Pretty much gonna take all of the magazines at this point. Got another stack of contact grenades. I guess I'll take those up to 26 on that. Gasoline. Okay, we can't spend any more money though. We have to stay above 15K. Wait a minute, trap magazine. I can afford that one. That's just gonna get us incrementally closer to being able to make our own turrets. And he doesn't have any raw food, really? He's got a cooking book there. I'll take that one. But yeah, no, no like potatoes or anything. No, well, okay, so let's go, let's, um, hmm. What did we see over here the other day that was interesting? I kind of want to push down the road here. You know, where the Enclave soldiers kind of appeared? My armor's fully repaired now, so I think I could easily take them. I'm just going to see if they've left the AO. It's been uh, 24, 48 hours at this point, so they've probably shipped off, but you never know. Yep, right here is right about where we made contact. We've met a lot of people. This is a hot spot over here, isn't it? But yeah, no sign of... La boss. I mean, one of these bodies here is La boss, and no sign of the Enclave. In fact, look, there is a sign of the Enclave right here. One of the Enclave soldiers has turned into a zombie and is still lurking in the area. Well, I'm not going to put you out of your misery. You can just rot like that for the rest of your natural existence. Okay, we're just on the edge of town. I'm going to push into town here a little bit. We stumbled across a couple of mutant areas up here. 
might try to take them on. Mutants aren't too difficult to take on solo, as long as you kind of get the drop on them and um, you're fully prepared for it. All right, here it is, just up ahead here. This is definitely a mutant compound. I'm just gonna check this meat bag and see. I don't quite remember. I've been hitting the head a lot since I've been here. Have I been here before? I have not. Okay, that is unsearched. And just steal that away. And I've already killed, I think, a couple of the mutants that were in here because they all kind of bailed out and tried to ambush me on my motorcycle. Yep. Ooh, just vaporized. Yeah, are there any more in here or is that... Was that just the last guy? Looks pretty clear in here. I guess I'll poke through it and see if there's any good loot then. Meat bag here, another treasure map. Meat bag pile over here. <gasps> Two star bottle caps. Wow, that's a good find. What about the meat bag pile over here? Okay, nuke and nades. Anybody taking a poop? Oh, Arlene, <laughs> didn't expect to see you in there. Um, explosions outside, which is odd. What what blew up out here? What are y'all doing? Oh, four by four. Hey, stage four of eight. What continues to explode here? Oh, kaboom! LPG is exploding a little bit. Yes, there's a bunch of zombies over here. All right, let's get to work. Okay, that was a good time. All right, I'd like to get back to where the real loot probably is. I actually should check here and see, was there gonna be any like loot stash? Oh, good supply of stone here. I think I will have this. All right, was there any easy way to get in here though? There is. Is there any loot in here? Yes, in fact, there is a little bit of loot in here. Main chest here is good for, hey, high pressure hoses. I have no idea what that goes to. Probably should, it's a, it's a mod? For the incinerator that allows it to fire faster. Okay, interesting. Okay, and I think that will do it for this place. It would appear, a little bit of water there, sure. Okay, back to the mutant compound then. Okay, we're into the big weapons case. Usually pretty good, a pitchfork. Really? And otherwise the rooftop is clear, heading back down. Was there anything in here that I kind of blew right by? Sometimes, yeah, wall safe in here. There we go. Getting the hang of the lock picks again. Just some ammo and parts in there. And that's it for loot here. There is one more mutant. There he is, found him. He's trying to get away. That should do it. All right, that is it for this place. I think from here, I've just been out kind of putting around. I didn't quite have a plan for this afternoon and this evening. I do actually want to see though, before I leave, what this is going to require to repair up. I found a vehicle impact driver inside, I think. Does this, yeah, this one has the front plow that the last 4x4 did not have. That just wants an engine. Okay, so, wait a minute. If I get an engine, after that it's battery, after that, so that's five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I don't know. There's a few things that this needs, and I should be able to get an engine relatively quickly off of a local car. Okay, I got, ooh, that was actually good. I got an engine and a battery off of that ambulance. There's the engine, looking better already. That's quite a nice engine that I put in there. And, oh no, it doesn't take the battery next. Next up is, I don't even know. It looks like this part right here, this, um, I don't know what the hell that would be called. Okay, well, I guess I'm on the lookout for that. That is now the good 4x4. We've got to label this. And I'm going to just say rail, because I think it was some kind of a rail that that needed. So it's going to be the rail, and then it's going to be probably battery, and then maybe some, like, headlights to fix up the top there. And we'll have that all working. Maybe some wheels? I have no idea. Maybe I'll dismantle the other one then that's over by Ohm Depot. With nothing better to do, we've already done the mining. I probably should have done the mining at night and spent my day raiding. But what I'm going to do tonight is just cruise around and see if I can find someone that I can hire. It's really important to me to have a bigger crew so that we can do some of the bigger assaults. Like the Storm Raider compound and the Viper compound the castle that's like right across the street from where we live where the rad cats are always fighting we got to take those places down but we can't do it 
with just one or two guys. Just want to check on this ice cream truck right here because you never know. Maybe someday I'll be wanting to drive myself an ice cream truck. And there was some kind of a special part that I got off of that. I'm going to get clear of these guys a little bit and see. It was the cone. The cone that goes on the top. That's funny. Okay, I've searched far and wide and I'm just rolling up on this interesting place here with ooh lots of zombies this is like an old trader compound but definitely no longer inhabited by traders in fact it's inhabited by very strong zombies there is a 4x4 out front here which could give me potentially the parts I'm looking for nope no parts shoot yeah and I don't really want to push any further in there in the middle of the night so yeah here's a look at where we've come we've come all the way up through the snow biome past trader joel's collapsed compound down this big long dirt road and now we're currently about to loop it back around to the old well the new trader bob and hello mountain lion which i guess is the route that i'm taking there is jennifer's treasure that's sort of along the way it could be in the wasteland maybe i'll set that as a target and just start making my way back home for the night yep because at this point we are getting to the far eastern reaches of the map completely uncharted territory out here in fact I, i'm pretty sure it's ocean there's just no more territory to chart here and just ticked morning i'm trying to get into that treasure map i was looking at there we go we're in oh finally got some raw diamonds energy weapon parts some ammo the usual stuff i guess it's good to get those diamonds though i think we're up to five on that so if we need to craft any sort of laser weapon we are one step closer or two steps closer to doing that. All right, so another bust, man. I, I wish I knew of a better strategy for encountering Brotherhood of Steel people because I've searched a couple of times now and come home empty handed. It seems to happen kind of randomly, like when I'm least expecting it. But man, we've got to get some more soldiers. So I'm going to take the long way back home. I'll get things organized and a plan going for tomorrow. I appreciate you joining me on this adventure. Wish me luck and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.